What up everybody, welcome to our new series on YouTube, it's Curve Painting. So this is a series I started with my son. We have a new business, I think I told you guys all about it. It's called Lions Curve Painting. My man! Really simple concept. You can execute it flawlessly. You don't have to have any skills. Nope. You simply just gotta be able to buy some spray paint, uh, tape out some stuff, and get it done. You see, we're out here sweating, but we're out here practicing before we go out tomorrow. Yes. I'm just showing my, my son uh, some of the things he's gonna be doing tomorrow. He's new at this just like I am. So there's gonna be some trial and error. If you come in the comments with that bullshit, y'all know I'm gonna block you. So don't come in the comments with the bullshit. I have no problem hitting that block button. This is all about productivity, yep. all about out here trying to grind and make money. Right now, I'm just gonna show a little clip on uh, some of the prep work we've been doing, just practicing with cardboard. And then my son uh, taping off some numbers. Let me give y'all a quick clip of that. And then we'll get y'all some clips tomorrow when we're actually out walking, knocking on doors and trying to make a little money. Check this out. So this is our prep. We did it on cardboard. We just cut some cardboard, prepped it out. My son is getting the numbers together. Uh, so we're gonna do our address first. So these are the stencils that we purchased off of Amazon. I don't have a, uh, a link, but y'all can go online and purchase whichever ones you want. I hate telling people what they should do. There's a lot of different ways, a lot of different products you can buy. We got ours straight off of Amazon. These seem to be really simple. What I will recommend is buying several sets of them. Uh, so we bought, we have four of each number. So right now he's taping the numbers together. These are really simple because they're like puzzles like puzzles. You put them together, you throw a piece of scotch tape across it. Not scotch tape, but masking tape. And then your stencil is kind of ready at that point. That's our job. And the thing about this, it don't have to be perfect. Nope. Once you get your stencil together, you're good to go. So what I'm going to have you do, Joshua, is, is go ahead and take that. You're going to sit it right in the middle of our prep area. So you're gonna put it right in the middle. That fits perfectly. Yeah, so what we did, really simple, I'm gonna show y'all. Once again, there's so many different ways. What I did, Joshua, grab that, uh, the box of stencils. What I did to make us, to help us out, right here on the side, I knew that uh, we met, I went outside and measured just a typical curve. And I know it's gonna be seven inches high and 16 inches wide for four numbers. And those are using the numbers that we have. If we want five numbers, uh, it's gonna be 20 inches wide. If you want six numbers, it's gonna be 24. So basically adding four inches for each number that you add or design or stencil that you add. And that's simply what we did. We measured it out, we taped it out, and we're practicing right now. He laid the stencil down. Uh, we're gonna check and make sure it's in the middle. Let's go ahead and do that. So the good thing about these stencils, it gives you room on the side already. So it kind of centers it for you. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get that centered. Boom. And what I did, I'm gonna pause this for a second. I'm gonna explain something to my son and then All I'll right, come back. back. So what I had him do is, let's see here. He had taped down the sides here to hold the stencil in place. And what I did, I made a border to help protect the top and bottom. And you see, I pre-measured it out. It's something you don't have to do, but I did it just to save us a little bit of time and a little bit of tape, so we're not taping every time. I pre-measured it out so I can put it around the edge. So when I spray now, I don't have to worry about the paint getting on the white background on, uh, on the sides here. So hopefully you guys understand what I, meant by that what and we're about to spray paint what i'm gonna do i'm gonna adjust it y'all see this gap right here there's a gap right there so the paint can get through there i'm gonna adjust it and uh we're gonna paint these numbers all right so let, let's go ahead and paint it all right guys so we spray painted on once again we're using cardboard so it's not gonna stick like it should so i'm just showing them how to lay it it came out pretty good our key thing is gonna be 
the perfection piece of it, correcting the the things that didn't come out. You see, there's a little bleed out through the uh, with the black right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray a little white, a little white spray paint right here. I'm going to spray it in the cap. I'm going to use this paintbrush. I'm going to touch up some of those uh, places that bled out to make it a little bit more perfect, and then. We can say we did our first curve painting on a cardboard. We're gonna do this a couple more times with prep, uh, try to get a little faster. But all in all, like how, how much time did that take, Josh? Like 10, 20 minutes? Yeah, about 20 minutes. 20 minutes for the first time on concrete, I mean on cardboard. So that's not bad. You gotta figure once you do it a little bit more, it'll get a little faster. So let me uh, touch up these numbers. We we'll tried it with a little paintbrush. Once again, this is cardboard. It's not gonna stick like it should. Tried it with the. Uh, we tried it with the little pa the paintbrush. It's too big, so we know to use it. Once again, this is good to why we used to try it out in the backyard first. Uh, we're going to use a smaller one to fill in the uh, the gaps and anything that may have bled over. All right, so we're prepping out. The next one, we're gonna do this one with a design. We haven't tried it yet. We just wanna see how the paint turns out. Once again, we know that, nope, it's on the outside. We're gonna go on the outside. That's gonna be the outside the dots. Yep. So he's prepping, we measured it out. And once again, I've already pre-measured, like if it's five numbers, it's uh, 20 inches wide. If it's six numbers, it's 24 inches wide. So it out, that is 20 inches wide, right there. So you just rip it out of the tape here. So we, before we painted the background, we went ahead and taped the stencil together. This is a stencil we're actually gonna use for my house. My wife loves turtles. I so like turtles. Turtle outside the house. The original box we had was too small. So before we sprayed the background, we had we went ahead and adjusted the, the background box, which is the tape here. And now it actually fits. It fits within the background. So I'm happy about that. I'm probably gonna adjust this, this side just a little bit more to give a little bit of room. And then I'm gonna lay the background on. And then we did it different on this one. We're gonna lay a black background on this one and we're gonna go white numbers. And we're gonna see how it turns out. We already laid out the stencil. We're just letting it dry a little bit. It's a little bit slow drying on the cardboard, but we're gonna let that dry a little bit and then we're gonna lay the stencil down and go with the white paint and see what it looks like. See y'all in a minute. We have it. Overall, it's not bad. I actually like it. I didn't go back and do it, but because this cardboard is not holding out well for me, but what I would do, I would go back and there's dirt on it from the dirt. But I would go back and touch up the overspray right here with a little brush, a little paintbrush, in which we got in our little tool kit. I would touch up the overspray, get it all nice and clean and crisp. There you go, man. That's not bad. I'm not a fan of the black background with white letters. We finished trying out the the paint and the layout overall what, what did you think it was good practicing can't wait for tomorrow and how what you think about the painting part kind of hard <laughs> this is not meant for kids yeah but you did a good job with the numbers uh we did three and uh clearly tell because it's on uh it's on cardboard how it dries and all that stuff, but all the imperfections we would just go back and touch it with a paintbrush. But we did a couple of numbers, and then we did one with uh, with the logo. I think that one turned out really good. Like I said, this one we're gonna put on the front of our house. Except it'd be inverted. We'll have the white background with the black uh, with the black numbers. So we are ready for tomorrow. Go out for few hours tomorrow see what we can come up with and that's it uh, more from